Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Welcome back to another video. Norwich 1, Sheffield United 2. You hate the stereotype, but it really was a game of two halves. Norwich controlled the first half, but Sheffield United were too good in the second half. Sheffield United deserved the victory, and if Norwich City play like that, they will be going down. Um, Southampton lost to Newcastle. Aston Villa lost as well. It was a great chance for Norwich City to really close the gap just to one point to 17th. If we could have held on, it would have just been one point to 17th. And then, you know, you're looking at Norwich City a lot more optimistically. But Norwich is still several points behind now, 17th. And we've looked really, really poor, in, especially in the second half. First half, we controlled it. We played some nice football. But we're conceding goals far too easily. And even with Zimmerman back, um, Norwich City is still conceding goals easily and uh yeah Sheffield United came up with us didn't they Norwich won the league playing some amazing football and we, and we showed some really good football in that first half but Sheffield United have come up spent money invested money and uh, they're much more equipped to the Premier League than we are because they're hard to beat and they've got goals going forward I mean Moussa's Moussa cost more than the Norwich City entire starting 11 should Norwich have invested more in the summer that will be a question uh, which will be on a lot of Norwich fans lips for me Personally, a little bit more. We did sign some great, great buyers, and you know Sam Byron and Amadou. But I, th I think you've got to spend a little bit more to improve quality, especially defensively, because we're too, we're too much easily done. Looking at the game, though, as I said, we played excellent in the first half. Um, Sheffield United didn't really have a shot apart from the goal who had num numerous opportunities. But in the 27th minute, uh, the ball falls to Alex Tetty um, in, just inside the box, and a fantastic strike, low, beating Dean Henderson. VR did check it. Don't know why, because it was never a handball, um, but Tetty's goal scored. And I'm going to talk about VAR in this game as well. Sheffield United deserve to win this game, but VAR yet again is ruining our game. Um, chance from both sets of fans. It's not football anymore. Uh, VAR is doing more bad than it is good. And it's, it's, it's the delays. I mean, there was checking the, uh, a VAR moment uh, in the second half. and It's absolutely stupid. But no, Norwich played well in the first half, as we did in the second half against Southampton. But look, Norwich City have had a dreadful first half performance against Southampton and a, a dreadful second half performance against Sheffield United. And we need to we need to you know, um, play well for 90 minutes. But in the second half, I mean, players like Mario Rancic, who were fantastic, and Amy Buendia in the first half, their performances drifted off. And Sheffield United, who tend to do better in the second half, just came forward and attacked us. And their tactical tweaks worked. Uh, cross in, so easy. One right wing back. To the left wing back and it's a header and it's schoolboy defending. Max Aarons has got to do better in the air and Sam Bryan has got to stop the cross. Schoolboy defending and then know it. And then three minutes later, Sheffield United completely turn the game on its head and make it 2-1. Um, poor defending. I think from Mario Rancic, who I'm happy he's back in the team and I think he should be a regular starter. I think he's got to do a bit better here though. Baldock, uh, the right wing back again, yet has a lot of time and, and sticks it in to make it 2-1. Cruel, possibly could have saved it, although it was a tough shot. And then there's some VAR drama. Now, let me explain it to you. Um, uh, firstly, because there's so much going on, Sheffield United player gets brought down. Um, and then, um, so it could have been a possible penalty. Lundstrom was in an offside position and then gave, and then Baldock eventually put the ball into the net, or one of the Sheffield United players is. Uh, the player was offside, but for me... The AR checked it for two minutes and they should have gave a penalty to Sheffield United. It was a clear penalty to Sheffield United. They didn't give it and for the time it took, it's just really stupid and it's killing the game. And then they also overturned the red card decision, which is it's just ludicrous. It's the amount of time it takes that's ruining the game for all the fans who go. But Norwich City just could not deal with Sheffield United in the second half. They were organised, they were compact. And that's why Sheffield United are doing far better than Norwich because they're hard to beat. They're defensively solid. Norwich City haven't improved really defensively. I mean, Amadou and Byron were our defensive players who came in. Sam Byron looks good and Amadou's looked OK. But we're still conceding goals far too easy. And, uh, you know, the Championship was scoring lots of goals. We're scoring goals for fun. Players like Emi Buendia, Marcus Stupin and even O'Neill Hernandez I don't think have quite adapted. And, um, you know, it's a bad combination when you're, when you're conceding more goals than you are scoring. Um, Campwell went close and that was their literal only opportunity in the game uh, in the second half so Sheffield United comfortably seeded out she probably should have got a third as well with Goldrick exit switch player really should have scored but as I said what an opportunity missed for Norris City against Southampton who no disrespect to Southampton I don't think look great um, but then of course Norwich don't look great either Sheffield United proved too much for Norwich they were defensively organised they were clinical and Norwich City just looks so soft and it looks too easy to score goals against us. I think that's the seventh game in a row. There's been 
two goals conceded for Norwich City at Carrow Road. So things aren't looking good and Leicester on the horizon. This could be very fun. Um, yeah, leave me your thoughts down below. Really, really disappointed with that. Norwich 1, Sheffield United 2.